chip metal? No, it's not. It's just that clear shellac coating that needs to be removed. The brass tarnishes around the chipping clear coating and yeah, it gives you that horrible look. I've already cleaned the rivets and the buckles on this bag. I'm gonna actually show you how to remove the hardware. Um, that's what this video is for. Cause I like to take the hardware off for sure when I am removing that old clear chipped shellac coating that Coach put on their bags to stop the brass from tarnishing. I'm using this thin flathead tool. It's a kit that I got from Harbor Freight, actually. I think I paid maybe $5 for it. Great for eyeglasses, great for uh, toys, you know, to remove the boxes and toys so that you can replace batteries. And it's great for a vintage coach. I use it for so many different things. These little thin um, tools are really great for getting under these little tiny, um, clips that are on like the back of this hardware and you'll see also for the turn lock to get it started and then I might use a little thicker and heavier uh, tool to really just pry open those prongs. Now at this point I have removed uh, a lot of hardware off a of vintage coach and I don't typically have a problem but occasionally you will find some of these prongs to be already perhaps broken or loose um, or you'll find them to break when removing. So be aware of that. Um, if they feel pretty sturdy, you, you typically will know right away that you're going to have an issue. But if they feel sturdy, you're in good luck. Also, when um, they have broken, it's only one. And you can still secure this the back of this um, female portion of the turn lock. You can still secure it really well with just the three prongs. So... I do find it important to remove it. I don't like that chipped hardware look. It doesn't make it look like solid brass. It makes it look like cheap metal. And it is solid brass, so let's clean it up. But that was easy enough to remove. The easiest part to remove, honestly. Um, you just really want to get to the back of that prong and pry from the back, okay? So those are the two portions for that one. And then I thought the taff bag was actually a really great example um, for me to show you how to remove this turn lock because you can see really well into the bag. It has this really great big front pocket um, that I'm able to just flip out. And I do the same thing. There's two prongs. They tend to overlay each other on the back of this piece. Um, this is more of a 90s um back of a turn lock hardware you will find in earlier bags it was just a flat um, piece that went behind the turn lock uh, remove it the same way but this one has like a little divot inside so you just pry it open and again you want to try to get all the way to the back where that uh, prong bends sorry my hands in the way and yeah you just pry it open I keep the hardware, even if I were able to pull the hardware out at this point, I keep it in there because I'm trying to protect the leather. These tools are pokey and sharp. So yeah, you can just take it out. There you go. Now you have it off the bag and you can safely clean it a little bit more aggressively um, and easy peasy. I really should probably redo my hardware video, but I am gonna show you a before and after. Chip metal, look, ha. Huh but it's brass. Yuck. Yay. It's shiny and beautiful. So pretty. <laughs> so we're going to replace the hardware now. As you can see, I'm taking that um, female portion of the turn lock and just putting it back into the leather where the holes are, gently. Sometimes you have to do some finagling, obviously. And then you're gonna take the back plate. Um, you see there's indents because they actually probably used um, tools uh, to really like force that close. I do find that you get a really good closure still that makes it feel solid if you take your time and do it properly. So um, what I will do occasionally, I don't often do it with this piece, but I'm showing you for the video. You can take these pliers and what you do is you just kind of pinch again right at the bend and it helps to kind of like lock in the piece. I find it more important for the turn lock portion. Um, 
honestly not really sure that it did anything uh, for this particular part. But this gives you maybe a better visualization of what I'm doing on the back of the turn lock prongs. Uh, but yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't typically find that necessary for this portion. What I do is I wrap those small tools. I use these tools for everything. Like I said, they have so many uses for me. The bottom is plastic and I wrap um, them in something. I think I'm going to struggle here. <laughs> um, to protect my hand because I'm going to use that flat portion of the end of the tool to push the prongs down. And when you do this, you are going to, oh, by the way, sometimes I flip that piece around, by the way, because um, it will look better on the other side. And you can clean that piece as well, but um, it can kind of look, to, look scratched up, um, the side that had been facing out. So sometimes I'll just flip it around. But um, yeah, you're just going to do this like rocking motion and you want to, again, make sure you get to the very back portion of the bend of the prong because, um, you know, when you took it out, you didn't really straighten the prongs out completely. So you get to that back portion, and you just rock it forward. And that's what I'm showing you right now, kind of the movement that I do. And when you're doing this, you also want to make sure that the hardware is kind of pressed uh, tight together. So you're pushing down as well. And sometimes what this will do is leave a little bit of on the raw part of the leather, like an impression just from all of the pressure I'm putting on. And I'll just like brush that out. You can even use a little horsehair brush or a suede brush, whichever. I just kind of brush the rough back out. It's not a big deal at all. So yeah, you just want to make sure you're pushing it down well and securing it. as tight as possible. And I'm just going back over each prong and really pushing them down. And then I'm checking here for looseness. Obviously I don't want it loose. So that's just to assure that I did a good job. I'm just really checking how secure I made it. And this part's the trickier part, but still very doable. Again, you're going to put your turn lock in with the prongs. You see they are sort of bent. These prongs do typically overlap one another. And it's really important that you're pushing the turn lock into the back plate when you try to secure this. So this is where the pliers come in handy. I do find this really important to get a really, my husband actually ended up showing me this. Um, he's an engineer and he was like, oh, this will work. So it does. He, you start it. You're not closing it all the way with these pliers, but you're starting it. So it's pinching um, really far down, right? It starts the closure. And then you can use the same technique that I use um, where you're rocking this hardware um, piece over the prongs and pushing um, pushing the uh, prongs back down. But that plier really helps to secure it. Now, you're going to check things. And I'm going to tell you, I left this in the video because this is an example. That's too loose. That I do not like. That is not acceptable. So I'm going to redo it. Um, and what I did was, here I'm trying to pay attention that I'm getting everything in the video and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I wasn't pushing hard enough um, the uh, turn lock portion into the back plate. And that is the key to getting these tight as well as using the pliers. So I'm going to 
pry that back open and I'm going to start over where I'm really going to make sure I am pushing the turn lock into the back plate before I start trying to secure the hardware. Because nobody wants a loose turn lock. I think that might be a fear of a lot of people of not being able to get the hardware back in properly. And that's why they don't even bother removing it. But sadly, I have seen bags that have been damaged around the leather. Now, often that can um, appear okay with conditioning, but you can damage the bag. See, what I'm doing here is just trying to find the best um, uh, angle. One, I was trying to video it, but... Um, how am I going to push and um, use the pliers at the same time? So secure it with one hand and then start the process with the other. I was just trying to find the right angle, see if there was a better one. But I guess I decided this is still the better angle. I just need to be more diligent. And I will get the sucker. Um, I can look hilarious trying to do some bags. Obviously, you know, there are very small bags with these turn lock closures and it's quite ridiculous. I will use a headlamp often for those also so I can see better. Just put a headlamp on so you're shining a light right into your project. And that helps. Yeah, so I have secured it better. I know because, well, I know the future. Just kidding. But uh, pushing the prongs down. I'm leaving all of this in here in this video so you can see it's not necessarily a quick project. So if it's taking you longer than usual, um, I mean, here, I've done this many times and look how long it's taking me. Again, combination of other factors here, trying to video it at the same time. If you're not trying to video it, um, you can sometimes, yeah, you can go back here and just make sure you're your pinch good. But if you're not trying to video it, you can get a better angle often. So, but yeah, it can take a minute, okay, to get it right. So just take your time. You don't want to accidentally stab your leather with any of your tools, right? You want a nice, secure piece. So just take your time and know that it's not like a, it, it's easy, but it's not like a, a minute fix, right? Sometimes, sometimes it can be. And so, yeah, that's much more secure and I'm happy with that. And there you go. I, um, I have conditioned this bag. So what I'm doing here is just stuffing it, um, just for it to help maintain a better shape while it's absorbing that conditioner. Um, I did not get this bag wet in any way. It just is being deep conditioned with leather CPR, which I do plan on putting a video out for that particular portion. But um, if you had noticed in the beginning of this video, there was a hang tag that was separated and I've already put out a video on how I do that easy fix of um, fixing the hang tag. So check out that video if you haven't already, but thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye.